All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. So in this video, we're going to talk about the prototype design pattern. Okay, as usual, let's uh, start off with uh, better motivation and explanation as we always do. So imagine that we are building a database. Imagine that we have a database where we store um, employees or person objects, right? So person would have name, age and so and all those attributes so that's where we store everything so in our application what we would have to do to collect all that data is we have to connect to the database of course and in our application we have an object person that then retrieves all of the information from our database and let's assume that this transaction is actually this database is a remote database meaning it's somewhere on the server so technically what do we do we create a new person for instance to create a new instance of a person object which will contain the information from the database right for that particular person and if we want another person we create another new person in code right so creating an object each time we need that information we create an object um, we create a new instance of that object in our memory okay now, as we know already, object creation is very expensive, right? And if and whenever we can, we should not be creating objects because that can bug down our memory and it's not very efficient. Okay, so as you can see here, we can new person and new person too, and we can keep creating. And that's not a good thing as we know now. Okay, so the solution for this would be cloning. What we so what we would do is instead of creating a new instance once once we've created one instance of this person object which will have all the attributes from the database okay what we would do then we have that person is we'll create a clone type of person which means we'll copy the exact person object which will have all the necessary informations for us to create that object so what we're doing now is instead of creating a new object using in the new keyword in Java, okay, so we're now cloning. So if we want the second person, we say clone person as well. So now we've solved that problem. First of all, we know, because first of all, it's real expensive to create new objects. On top of that, this transaction between our application and the, the database in our remote database it's a very expensive transaction so we have literally killed two birds with one stone well not real birds but you get that okay so we've solved our problem here so this is what we call prototype design pattern so what this does is that it creates creates an instance of a given class when the general creation or the obvious or normal creation uh, is expensive or complicated process whenever we find ourselves in those situations where the creation of the instance of a class is actually expensive then we would be better off using the prototype design pattern okay so that is the idea there okay so in the next video we are going to put into practice what we have just learned about the prototype design pattern okay see you next